I'm gonna show you everything you need to start a t-shirt business. From a simple gilding t-shirt, to equipment, materials, and even the skills that you need. Well, the basic skills. We're also gonna compare the cheap with the expensive. Since we all start from different budgets, and just because I love you guys, I'm gonna give you all my connections to my suppliers. On top of that, I'm gonna show you guys some tricks that I use to save money. So make sure to hit the like button because it motivates me to keep pushing content. Now let the party begin. The first thing that you need is gonna be a desktop or a laptop, not a tablet or a cell phone. You actually need a computer because this is gonna be the main foundation of your business where you create designs, create mockups, promote your business, answer emails, etc. Remember, a great quality print always starts with a great quality design. And to have a great quality design, you're gonna need a software. Here's the two softwares that I use. One is called Corel Draw, and the other one is called Kittle. And here's the difference between these two. With Corel Draw, you're able to create designs from scratch, but you do need some type of graphic designer skills that you can easily learn in YouTube like I did. And Kiro is a website that has a bunch of different templates that you could grab, recreate to make them fit your style. It's very beginner friendly, so you don't need graphic designing skills. Corel Draw is around $300 a year. Kiro is around $15 a month. Now, they both have free trials, so go check them out and you decide which one fits you better. I use Corel Draw mainly for screen print to vectorize my artwork, separate my artwork, convert my designs into half tones, etc. And I use Kittle to create t-shirt designs since my uh, art skills are kinda low. Here's a bonus tip. If you wanna convert your gradients into half tones, you're gonna need a RIP software. The RIP software that I use is called Accurate. But this is a little advanced, so we're probably gonna leave it for another video. But I felt like I just had to mention it. The third item on the list is a heat press, which is pretty essential to a t-shirt business. On top of that, it requires no type of skills. Like honestly, anybody can do it. For example, this video was taken four years ago. If my nine-year-old daughter at that time could do it, I'm pretty sure anybody can. Now, there's hundreds of different brands of heat presses, but I'm only gonna recommend two. The one that I started with and the one that I'm using right now. The one that I started with, I got it from Amazon, which is a Viver that goes for around $200. The Viver one is beginner friendly to do small projects or DIY projects. The one that I'm using right now is a Recoma heat press that goes for around $900. This one's more like a commercial press. It has a digital monitor, an auto open, slide gate, and it's very heavy duty. And I always love to say, start with whatever you can afford. But sometimes you have to think in the long run. For example, the Viber Press is great, the price is great, but eventually you will outgrow that. So if you have the money, I will 100% recommend to start with a better press. It's just uh, my opinion. At the end of the day, it's uh, your budget. I'm just giving you my insights because it happened to me. Overall, a heat press is great to have it in your shop because you can do DTF transfers, screen printing transfers, vinyl, and so many more other stuff. But we'll talk about that by the end of the video. T-shirts, you're gonna need t-shirts. Now, the place where I get my t-shirts is called SNS Activer. They also sell hoodies, hats, tote bags, jackets, oh, and so many more stuff. But to order from them, you're gonna need a wholesale license, which helps not paying full price for the items, not paying for taxes, sometimes not even paying for shipping when you reach a certain amount, and many more stuff. But if you don't have a license, don't worry. You could also try this website called gfishirts.com where you could get the t-shirts at regular price for a couple cents more, but it's still cheaper than getting them in an actual store. I would recommend to go check out this video where I explain my top nine most selling t-shirts just so you can have an idea of what t-shirt brand will fit your business. Items one to four are great to start a business with very little space, but we're gonna take this to the next level and we're gonna add screen printing. Here's why screen printing is important because you could always upgrade to better, faster equipment. From here, to here, to here. Pretty awesome, right? Now let's continue. The fifth item on the list is gonna be your inject printer to print your transparency film. You can easily start with a printer that lets you print 11 times eight inches, or if you have the money, get a good one that lets you print 19 times 13 inches. And like always, there's a lot of different brands, but I will recommend anyone that's an inject printer. Remember, inject printer, not a laser printer. But if you can't afford one, don't worry. Here's what you can do. You could grab that design and save it into a USB. And with that USB, you could go to like a Walgreens or to any local paper shop and print your design there. The sixth item on the list, is your screen. A standard screen is around 24 to 20 inches and they vary from different mesh sizes from 40 all the way to 305, which means that the higher the mesh, the higher quality designs that you can print. If you're a beginner, I would stay around 110 mesh, 
155 mesh, or even 200 mesh. Anything under 110 mesh is for specialty inks like glitter ink, crystallina inks, puff ink, and anything over 200 mesh is for higher detail designs. And right now, you're probably not at that level to be messing around with that mesh. Just a friendly advice. The seventh item on the list is the scoop quarter. And yes, get a scoop quarter. I would recommend to get a six and inch scoop quarter for these screens. And just in case if you don't know what's a scoop quarter, it helps you add emotion to your screens. Correct term, it helps you quote your screens with emotion. The eighth item that you need is an exposure unit. The purpose of an exposure unit is to burn your design into the screen. It hardens all the emotion that wasn't covered by the design. Once again, there's many different brands of exposure units, but we're only gonna focus on two. The first one is homemade, which you can make in under $40 with a couple two by fours and a five wide light bulb. Or you can order LED light from Screen Print Direct that's already assembled. No, that's not the price. I'll show you guys my trick in a little bit. The second exposure unit, which is the best, is the one that comes in a box like this. And if you could get it with a vacuum, that would be even better. But it's a little bit more pricey. They both do the same thing, but here's the difference. The homemade exposure unit takes around two minutes to burn. The other one takes around 30 seconds. The homemade one needs to be in a dark place. The other one has a cover, so you can pretty much burn your screens anywhere. Well, not anywhere that's exposed to sunlight. A room like this is fine, but when it comes to sunlight, no, stay away from that. And I know there's so many more things that we could talk about, but at least I'm laying down the basics. Before we continue, I'm gonna show you one of the best screen printing suppliers that I work with. Yes, I'm gonna repeat that one of the best screen printing suppliers that I order from. Where you can find your screens, your inks, your emotions, powder for your screen printing transfers, and so many more stuff. The beautiful thing that I love about them is that they have a super neat website, which means everything is easier to search. Everything is very organized. And I want you to check this out. Let's just say you wanna make a special ink color. Well, they have this super easy free system that you can use to make any of these colors. All you have to do is type the number of the Pantone and boom, you get the formula to create that ink color. Now check this trick out. With the cold Milo print, you get a 15% discount. Ain't that beautiful? And I wanna thank Screen Print Direct for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna add the link in the bio just so you guys can go get your screen printing supplies. I've been using this stuff for a little bit over four years. So it's uh, Milo approved, even though I'm nobody, I'm still approving because uh, cause I'm approving. Now let's continue. Now, the ninth item that you need is a wash out booth and a power washer. Now, the reason why I added both of them together is because you really don't need them to start, but they are really important. And they go hand in hand after you finish exposing your screens, the station right here helps you pop off that design. Or when you finish printing and you have to clean your screens, this station makes everything so much easier. The spatula. You probably think that this item is not important, but trust me, it comes very handy. Especially when you have to mix your inks, add ink to your screens, remove inks from your screens. It's not an important item, but it's a must have type of item. It just makes everything easier and less messier. The squeegee. And here's the purpose of the squeegee, to push the ink through the mesh onto the shirt, not into the shirt, onto the shirt. Some people like to pull the squeegee and some people like to push, and I have tried both. And in my honest opinion, I believe that you have a bit more control of the pressure that you add on the squeegee whenever you're pulling the ink, whenever you're pulling the ink towards you. Now, there's three different types of squeegees, wooden ones, aluminum ones, and easy grip ones. I will focus more on these two just in the beginning. And here's a big mistake that I see a lot of beginners do. Print a design with a really small squeegee. Why? You're gonna have bad prints like that. You need to have an even pull. And let's just say, you're gonna print a 10 inch design. So the minimum squeegee that you need is gonna be a 12 inches. You wanna have a minimum of, of an inch on each side of the design, just so you can have a smoother print. I would recommend a 14 inch squeegee for the big designs and a 16 inch squeegee for the small designs, the left chest design. The most important item on the list, the screen printing press. Well, to me it's the most important because having a good press helps you provide great quality print. Now, you don't need to start with an expensive press like this. You could honestly start with a simple press like this just so you could get your feet wet and understand the business. But here's the thing, you're gonna be very limited to the things that you can do. The quality is gonna drop. You won't be able to do multicolored designs you won't be able to print many t-shirts per hour. I started with a small press like that. So that's why I like to preach small presses because I feel like it's important to understand the basics, know the fundamentals, 
get your feet wet, get a little bit dirty when it comes to screen printing. So you can know if this is the business for you before you start investing on some expensive equipment. Because I honestly see people that go crazy and start buying all this expensive equipment to later find out that they don't like this type of business. So now they're stuck in debt or they gotta sell all this equipment at a way cheaper price. But when you upgrade to a better press, everything will change. Your quality will go up, your options will go up, and you will be able to print more t-shirts per hour. The 13th item on the list is the flash dryer. The flash dryer helps you dry the ink on the shirt, so you'll be able to add another layer of ink on top of it. It helps you print multicolored design. It also helps you cure the ink on the t-shirt. Now, if you can't afford a flash dryer, you could also get a heat gun, obviously, it's gonna take way longer, but it still get the job done. And the last item on the list is the conveyor dryer, which helps you cure the t-shirts fast. Now, when you're starting your business, you don't actually need a conveyor dryer because you could also cure your t-shirts with a flash dryer, a heat press, or even a heat gun. But when you upgrade to a better press, then a conveyor is essential because it helps you keep up with the speed. For example, it lets you multitask while you're printing, you grab the shirt, you throw them in the dryer, and you come back to printing and the conveyor dryer is out curing the t-shirts so you're doing two things at once if that makes any type of sense it's definitely an important item that you need when you're in business but in the beginning take it easy eventually you will get there for example me i don't have one the one that i have burned down then i went and bought another one and it didn't fit the electricity didn't fit so now i've been like a little bit over i don't want to i don't know if i want to say like six months without a conveyor dryer but it's fine because i'm curing all my t-shirts with my flash dryer. eventually i am gonna get one because i'm taking so long to print orders so my wife just came in and she's like what's up with all these fans what are you doing i was i was like i was trying to do something fun something funny but I guess not nah, it wasn't funny she's like you look you weird and i know that i missed a lot of equipment like a spot gun the one that removes the ink a t-square ruler a temperature gun but i feel like you don't need them to start with but they are important reality is that you can add so many more things to the business like a tape gun uh tape measure pencil scissors but if i would have kept going the list would never end so i just wanted to keep it very simple and focus on the essential stuff essential stuff essential i just barely learned that word during covid so take it easy on me guys and let's just say you don't want to screen print there's no problem you can honestly start a t-shirt business with items one to four by ordering DTF transfers that you can get at ninjatransfers.com. They're super easy to apply, but if you're having problems, check out some of my videos. I explain the whole process into little tiny steps. Now, if you do want to screen print, I would recommend to check this starter kit from Screen Print Direct. It has everything you need to start printing t-shirts right away, except an exposure unit. You're gonna have to make an exposure unit or buy one. I did a full tutorial video on the starter kit that I'm gonna attach to the end of this video, just in case if you're interested. Here's the thing, screen printing equipment is very expensive. I'm talking about 5K to 10K just to start. So to cut that price in half, I would recommend to buy used equipment. And I'm not talking about screens or squeegees. I'm talking about big machines like this. Screens and squeegees, get them brand new. Big machines like this, you could get them uh, half price. I would recommend to check this Facebook page out. Or you could also try digismith.com. You can find a bunch of good uh, used equipment there. And obviously, I'm not telling you just to go buy any used equipment or to send your money to anybody there. No, I'm telling you to uh, try them out, ask questions, make sure they're legit, make sure that the machines are working before you invest in anything like that. All right, I'm gonna sit down for this one, guys, cause I'm getting tired and I'm getting old. I'm just playing. But if I could give you guys one last tip to anybody that wants to start a business or to anybody that's watching this video, I would say to put God first. Let him be the foundation of your life. Because whenever you start something, you get stressed, you get overwhelmed, things get hard. And just knowing that you're not facing any problem by yourself, that the creator of this universe is right here with you, uh, it changes everything. It changes the way you see things, the way you think, even uh, spiritually. And um, I, I have been uh, through a lot of ups and downs in my business. And just uh, having this faith that strengthens me, it's, it's, it's different. You know, I see things different now. And it's uh, so beautiful. So that's why I always preach it, because it's the most beautiful thing that I have. You know, if God's with me, who's against me? And when you, 
just even that verse, just that little tiny verse. If he's with me, who's against me? So God never fails. So imagine, imagine that. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for the love and the support. Have a beautiful weekend with your family. Happy Thanksgiving, and I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless you all.